Hello, fellow engineers. This is Srinivasan, who is having more than 30 years experiences, trying to give you a small presentation on how to prepare a reconciliation statement at the end of the project. Why we require a material reconciliation? We use material reconciliation for the material receipt, consumption, and balance at the end of the project. In general world, reconcile is equal to getting two things to correspond or agree. Why we need a reconciliation? To have an account of actual consumption of the materials, to know the measures to be taken to minimize the wastage control. What is waste? Any material byproduct of a human and industrial activities that has no residual value. Construction waste. Construction waste is defined as the byproduct generated and removed from the construction. Construction industry is a large consumer of materials such as steel, copper, glass, synthetic materials, cement, etc. Wastage of materials in most of the construction sites are beyond acceptable levels. Categories of the construction waste. This has been defined in three categories such as natural waste, direct waste, indirect waste. What is the direct waste which I am giving a small format? Direct waste, transit waste. Transit waste occurs with brittle materials during transportation and placing materials in the storage. Example, bricks, tiles, glazing, roofing sheets, etc. Cutting and conventional waste. Cutting waste occurs when materials cut into various sizes and an uneconomical shapes. Example, plywood, form of tiles. Application waste. Application waste occurs with most wet building materials such as plaster, paint, stockpile waste occurs when most loose materials are dispersed on the site because of a poor storages. Example, sand, coarse aggregate. Criminal waste waste occurs due to theft and vandalism, tiles, cement bags and sanitary items. Weight waste caused by other traders occurs due to succeeding traders such as plumbing, electrical, etc. Damages of the walls, plaster, etc. Management waste occurs due to lack of supervision, incorrect decisions of the management. Example, throwing away excess material. Waste due to wrong usages occurs due to wrong selection, rejection of indirect waste. Indirect waste is called as a cost waste such as purchase of ex expensive material, surplus quantities. The table explains you indirect of the uh, categories of the indirect waste. Substitution waste, expensive material that even though the cheaper materials has been available as per specifications. But consequent cost may arise in the specification are not met, such as use of higher strength concrete instead of proper using, design mixes, etc. Production waste occurs when a contractor does not receive any payments for the works he has carried out, such as use of extra plastering, uh, plastering for uneven surfaces, etc. etc. Operational waste occurs due to the unavailability of a proper quantities based on the contract document and when materials are left in the building. Left form work. Negligence waste occurs when materials are used then specified due to use of unfit machineries, etc. etc. Use of extra concreting when excavation has been done. How to control 
wastages in the construction concrete yield of the batching plant need to be checked thoroughly theoretical and actual quality of concreting after each pour to be checked calibration of the batching plant very frequently delay in placing pouring concreting after the transmitter arrive should be avoided to make a slump loss and other losses improper batching delay to transporting to be avoided avoiding any wastages in the concreting after pour excess consumption of concreting to be avoided coarse aggregate checking acceptability quality before unloading to avoid rejection well prepared base for staking to avoid mix with the soils reduce handling wastages dlbd that is a dry loose bulk density to be checked very frequently whenever we are converting the volume into weigh back thoughts fine aggregates sand checking acceptability acceptability quality before unloading to avoid rejection if screening of the sand has been required procure the screen sand sand can be replaced with a crushed sand to reduce the cost cement avoid using flaky aggregate more cement is required to achieve strength and workability of a concreting when flaky aggregates are used store it in the dry place use cement as when first comes first use try to replace cement with fly ash as far as possible however approval of using a pcc has to be based on the client reinforcement and structural steel maintain bar bending register at the site so that an engineer can plan properly the bar bending schedule use cut pieces for making rings and chairs diameter wise reconstruction stock on monthly basis waste hierarchy aim to reduce the amount of waste you create waste is created identify ways you can use the materials finally if materials cannot be reused then collect them to recycle only dispose of the materials as a last records to be maintained for a reconciliation on monthly basis variation register material records stock records material issue records records for approved mixed design records of the work done how the reconciliation has been done material waste quantity minus consumption quantity minus theoretical quantity material wastage percentage has been calculated on this basis consumption quantity minus theoretical quantity into 100 divided by theoretical quantity reconciliation format for various things has been attached here if this one is a material reconciliation format for structure this one is wastage for roads this one is concrete mixes this one is reinforcement steel this one is for a structural steel this one uh, to calculate 
the rolling market. Thank you for watching this presentation. In case of any clarification required, do not hesitate to write to me. Kindly like and share this presentation with your friends and circle, which will motivate me to give you a further good presentation. Thank you once again.